And, you know, a lot of times, <clears throat> especially in the blues and the gospel stuff, the, the tonal center is set, but, you know, it can be minor, it can be major. It's kind of the, the beauty of it is you can bounce back and forth, you know. The major third is implied or you can just hit it directly. It's, it's funny, you'll be playing with certain musicians and they'll just completely avoid it. It's, it's minor. And then other guys will just go right to the major third, yeah. <laughs> just lean on it. So it, it's, it, all, it all depends on what you're trying to say or, or what sentiment you're trying to get across, you know. Um, but we'll, we'll do some, some linear lines, some gospel lines. Uh, So that's more, you know, leaning on the major a little bit more. Yeah, yeah. And then, you know, uh, within the same song, the same same setting, you can you can just go a little darker on it. So. Same, same idea, but just to just lean in the other way lean a little bit. Way, yeah. yeah. That darker element. Well, while we're on that, could, could, if you if you're confronted with it completely, this has to be minor, and you're obviously tuned to a major chord. Yeah. How do you deal with that? Um, just like you did, or do you ever do the relative major thing? Uh, yeah, occasionally, but I, I usually, for the most part, I, I start Stay at home. Yeah. Is, yeah. Yeah. So I mean, the track, isn't it? yeah, but I mean, sometimes that's what you're going for. So sometimes yeah. you you want to be off the track, but it's. You know, if if you're going straight minor, then you can, uh, you know, you can get lines like. Uh, <laughs> 